What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always say truth. Can you get some people who speak for the culture to come on the platform? Today, I think I was lucky enough to get that opportunity. I actually got one of the first guys, in my opinion, who decided to become a rapper to a blogger. It's a lot of people that follow this wave now. But for the people who don't know what's going on, you're telling exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. I already know Bend of the Rose, Eastside Legend, Chicago, Eastside Stand Up, Say Night the Cold's Finest. You know what I'm talking about? Trying to talk TV on Uh, most definitely. Now, before we get in the interview, you know I'm a drill story, and I kind of want to pinpoint something you just said, like in the first couple of words. Uh, exactly what area are you from again? Say Night the Coast. Right. Is that like the South Side or like the East Side? That's the East Side. Okay. I'm going to ask you something I learned as I've been doing interviews in Chicago. Um, it's something people say about what is the east side? Man, the east side, the east side, the trenches, like that's the dirty side, the trenches, like we got a whole different, whole different lane, whole different culture over there, you know, tomorrow. They really don't like, really call us the east side to try to put us like that because we got our own little territory or like we the far to the end, like by the okay, lake. Okay, I just cut you off, but what I mean about what is that, is that the, people say state to the lake or it ain't certain blocks. I didn't know that was an issue. Is that an issue where people consider the east side? I ain't gonna lie, the east side, like Stony Island. Yeah. Stony Island, so sure, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's the east side. Right. I didn't know that. I, I learned as doing interviews that some people don't consider certain blocks the east side or something like that. Yeah, well, like, they say like King Drive's east right. side, you know what I'm saying? I say that's partial, you know what I'm saying? But like, our side, east side, where we from, yeah, it's, it's, they, it's like Stony Island to to South Shore, you know what I'm talking about? People say it's real dangerous on the east side, real aggressive. You know, uh, a lot of people say, true, you shouldn't go on the east side. What's the difference between the east and the south side? Shit, we scope buckets. Like, there's a lot of, like, it's like, like cowboys and Indians over there. Like, we get money over there, but it's like, it's mostly like gang man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's real, like, treacherous over there. You know, like, right. ain't, ain't like the south side, like the, uh, the west side. You know what I'm saying? Niggas catch you out there as busting, so you gotta have your gun out there. Right. Real killers over there. Tell growing up out there? Hell yeah, like, <laughs> man, there's so many niggas that died, man, you know what I'm saying, that I know, like, you know what I'm saying, from like G Slim, you know what I'm saying? I know, like, the niggas that, the shit happened a little wet down there, like, it's a lot of niggas that I know, oh. to that's, 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 that's gone, bro, you know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. And it's like, shit, that's the east side, bro. But they don't, they don't get the east side they props like they supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, we got a lot of murder shit going on over there. You don't see too many rappers come from, like, over east. But you got the Lil' Herb, right. and you got the Bump J, you know what I'm saying? Me, but you got some cold rappers out there over east, you know what I'm saying? Drill was created out there, right? Wasn't yeah. drill rap created hell in the yeah, east? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's another thing they don't give it to us, you know what I'm saying? Like, Pac-Man. He definitely want to transcend the start of this, you know what I'm saying? You got people from uh, Sircon, you got people from uh, different places, like pockets, all different type of places, like that's a part of the east side that made that shit happen, you know what I'm talking about? Right. So like, they got to they gotta give them their credit for that, especially when they come to that drill, because drill is explicit. Let's just make that be known, this is explicit, like detail, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Gut shit, like I'm gonna describe how I'm gonna shoot you in your head, shit like that, not all this other shit that they talking about, mm. this internet shit. Okay. You know, I don't even want to front with you, Rose, man. People know you on Truth Teller TV. You know, they know I got this notebook right here. I got some questions on it. We finally got you in here. I kind of want to jump right into it. Um, Let's go. What made you jump into the blog game? I got tired of people telling bullshit. Got tired of people telling lies, especially when it comes to the trenches. Like, And then at first, like, I really jumped in it because I ain't had no voice. Like, a lot of people want like really trying to tell my story. Like right. they was just jumping in everything. Cause you know, back then, truth, I was controversy as up. I was in everything. They talked right. about everything that I was in, but they ain't talk about nothing that I was doing or try to defend me or certain type of situations that they knew about. So I'm like, let me make my own voice. And then when I seen other people start coming to the platform, you know what I'm saying? I'm helping them out, letting them get their voice out. They like, shit, you should run a platform and shit. That's what I did. And the people grew it. So it was like, man, Let's bring the people over here, shit. It's trench talk, this y'all shit, you know what I'm saying? Come speak y'all truth, you know what I'm talking about? Right. Um, can you be honest with this next question I'm gonna ask you? Is it, I want 100% honesty from you now, you know? We gotta be transparent now. Let's go. 
since you turned to a blogger, can you tell us if it's been any rappers jumped in your DM angry with you over some videos you might have done? Are we at that point have rappers jump in that DM? I ain't gonna lie, nobody really ain't gonna jump on my DM because they know that like, I'm a, like I'm aggressive. Like I get a lot of people myself, and people right. I remember. I'm 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 a real live street dude. You know what I'm talking about? Right. And definitely. I've been in this shit for the longest too, so like, y'all gotta respect the fact I'm from the streets, I'm a rapper too. So like, I had had rappers jump on my my IG live. You no, know, I be live a lot. I had the, uh, the Buster nigga, Black Gate Benzo nigga. Oh, Benzo jumped. Yeah, right? he jumped on my live, man. I said some shit about him and his artist. You know what I'm saying? We went back and forth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's only a couple things like that. They, I, I attack these niggas head on. What about with FBG Cash? Was that just a friendly conversation that got a little loud? Because you know, the internet watching everything, you went live with Cash, internet took it, but they put their own caption on it, right? Yeah, they put their own twist that. That's my brother, man. Okay. That's my brother, like FBG Cash, that's, that's, I look at him like my little brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas already knew, like, I lived over there on 72nd Avenue Park. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Fast Shorty, that's like my cousin, you know what I'm talking about? Oh. Niggas ain't even know that, like, so like, when niggas found out that, you know what I'm saying, our relationship just from the streets, that's what brought Cash even closer to me. Right. You know what I'm talking about? So at the end of the day, me and Cash, we just we just be popping shit to each other. You know right. what I'm talking about? And that, that situation with they took it and twisted, it was just like it was funny as hell because we talked to each other right after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I took it like that too, that the, it was a it was a wrong caption on there. Yeah, yeah. Now you know now when you went live with them, the fans clicked the quick two minute part of the video sent it to our DM. Yeah. I never told you about this. I didn't post this. You know, I kind of got busy and forgot about it, but they sent it to me. They said, Truth Teller, Bandana Rose dissing King Lil J. <laughs> Was that just an opinion? Or is it something that. Uh, that's like, it's like a lot of people got to take criticism, man. You know, they don't know how to take criticism, but right. the things is, when I get my criticism, I actually get facts, bro. Like, <laughs> bro. I know, I know these niggas. Like I remember when Lil J was over East and he got chased out the store and say like that's not. I remember shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Right. This ain't no shit right with ring. You know what I'm talking about? So this no. is real. This is not this like, like a room. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like this. Like the thing is, bro. People from the trenches ain't gonna speak up for real because they too much dick suckers. They too much want to ride the wave of motherfucker. Like, oh, I can get some clout from. Them. I can get some views from. Them. I can get some money from. Them. Nigga, I ain't come from that cloth. We gonna speak from the trenches for real, nigga. If you in the county doing zesty shit, nigga, or in the jail and the streets report that shit, then yo ass zesty, nigga. At the end of the day, when you go to jail, nigga, you go to jail to get your credibility. You go to jail to get your stripes. You know what I'm saying? You come home, oh, you hold it down. Ooh, you ain't getting none of that. Everybody else went to jail faithfully. Did they time, population, all that. We gotta come out the face of Chicago with this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? No, we can't be staring our kids into shit like that bro when you got real niggas that's from the trenches trying to get out the trenches and we ain't finna be doing all that lame ass shit once we did time in jail bro you feel me like real niggas ain't finna do that they finna change up they finna boss up you know what i'm talking about so i'm against all that shit bro especially when a nigga fraudulent bro let's take fraudulent bro and that's just real life shit yeah. chicago know that the streets know that you know what i'm saying the internet just fucked up you know what i'm saying the internet fucked up bro and I gotta ask you this, cause that, you know, that video I got, and plus you speak for the culture now, so, you know, you get your opinion on the culture. Do people understand that you a blogger and your job is to give your opinion on the culture? A lot of people take it personal. I don't know why they get personal about it, cause this opinionated ass sport. This shit like the URL, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got something to say. Everybody got an opinion. The fans, the people, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, at the end of the day, whatever you take from it, take from it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like, I can't, y'all can't get mad when a person speaking down on a person doing negativity, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck we doing? You getting mad because a person speaking down on a person doing negativity. So, man, beat it with that shit. Y'all stake y'all opinion, I'm going to stake my opinion. And whoever rock with it is real, they already can see through the shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Last thing I want to ask you about King Lil J. We ain't making this a King Lil J interview. But I do want to ask you this because I got a voice uh, in front of that lens. You know, recently news broke that he got arrested. First thoughts came to your head. You moving the wrong way, or uh, twelve following people. That's the hip hop police. Or what's just the first thing came to your head? Cause he was buzzing, he was trending without a machine. I'm just like, that's the dumbest shit in the world. The dumbest shit in the world, bro. Like at the end of the day, like you ain't even get a chance to enjoy this shit already. Or you like two and a half months. 
You ain't even get to be out that long. And then you put yourself in a situation where your team and everybody finna suffer from this shit. See, some things people gotta understand is bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be mindful, like the people that's behind you and that's depending on you for shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, bro, what type of shit is that? Go to jail for seven motherfucking years, then come home, do some crash dummy shit, and then go back to motherfucking jail, bro. What type of message is that to tell the kids or your fans and your people? You know what I'm saying? I know you ain't gonna tell your kids that shit. You know what I'm saying? What was smart about that, bro? Oh, he's supposed to ride with the pipe. Ain't nobody tell you to come out and start dissing, nigga. You had a seven-year clean slate. Niggas ain't thinking about you. So you put yourself back in the mess. So if you got to move around with pipes, get you a shooter, get you some security. Niggas know how this shit go. Niggas just doing lame-ass shit. Real gangsters don't move like that. Real niggas don't move like that, bro. On me. You know, also in that lab, you know, when I watched the lab, I got that video sent. I went to the lab, I checked it out. It was something else you said in that lab that uh, I said, if I get a chance to speak to Rose on it, I'm going to ask him this. Uh, you said that you knew Get Right. Oh, uh, yeah, my man. Yeah, that's like cool. in real life, not just on the rap videos. Yeah, no, hey, <laughs> right. Like, niggas, see, niggas don't understand, like, I lived on Everhart. You know what I'm saying? Before I lived on Everhart, niggas know I'm from Southern Night the Coles. He actually been over there a lot. You know what I'm saying? We didn't ran into the same females type shit. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, nigga, we didn't been locked up together. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that was one of the niggas that I see a lot of niggas that don't people understand. Like, in Chicago, like, it's really small when you're a real street nigga and you move around. Like, all the people that they look at on the internet, it's all these big people and shit like that. I be looking like, damn, oh, that's how y'all look at them. Well, we look at them like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's just, bro, you feel right. what I'm saying? Like, whole time, niggas don't even know, like, I was in the store the day Can't Get Right got killed. Oh, yeah? You know what I'm saying? I was in the store. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Rose. You know, you can't just say something like that and just go past it and roll, you know? That's important, because that day, I, I consider that a monumental moment in the culture. You was in that store. Yeah, I was in the store. Remember uh, the day I posted the pictures with Wooski and uh, Young? I'm not sure, but I do. I posted recall. two pictures actually on my YouTube and on my IG. And that was the day. We oh. was all in the store and that shit was going on. I got them pictures and shit. And I went in that motherfucker and got me some Zuzus and Whams, some nachos and cheese, ducking them all in that bitch. Everybody, you know, he didn't bought everybody shit in there. Hold on, Ross, since you just got me again, I got to stop you again now. See, I, it's hard to let you go saying things like this. Those guys were really. On those blocks that they rapped about, don't those blocks? Those blocks got millions of views. Like it's rap videos with millions of views that says these block names, right? It was guys really out on those blocks. I you, nigga, Cash called that shit the office. Like Vernon was called the office. The niggas was out there every fucking day on Everhart, 62nd, 63rd. The niggas was outside moving around like they ain't had no money. Like they weren't on shit. I remember one time, nigga, Duck pulled up and gave away motherfucker Popeye's chicken and twenty dollars to the whole neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So no neighborhood pulled up right in the lot next to the motherfucking store, right on 63rd oh. and King Drive, you know? giving away chicken and motherfucking money to everybody, bro. And ain't nobody never said nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy. Nobody never gave him this props about that. But right. yeah, that was. That, I seen a lot of crazy shit over there fucking around with them and the whole time. Like I'm a vice lord over GD Block, and that's how I went in Chicago. Oh. That's but how I went in Chicago. Too. Yeah, we. Like the thing was, I ain't into it with them. I just live over here. And sometimes you might got GDs that stay over in our neighborhood. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how I just went. Nobody stayed in their neighborhoods. Oh, that's crazy. I'm going to ask you this one more time, though, because I find this just amazing. Ain't it dangerous to be on the block that's famous in Chicago? Ain't it dangerous to be on the block? 